As the number four ranked Ohio State Buckeyes traveled down to New Orleans for the Sugar Bowl, no one in their right mind would think that they can compete against powerhouse number one Alabama. No one except the 40,000 fans that have traveled from all over America to see their Buckeyes play. The game being nearly a home game for the Crimson Tide, anyone would expect that the Buckeye fans would be outnumbered in the Superdome. This was not the case as just about half the stadium was scarlet and gray, at least from my seat in the crowd. After the incredible, to say the least, victory over Alabama, Ohio State's fans would once again be challenged in traveling to Arlington, Texas for the inaugural national championship game against the Oregon Ducks. Buckeye fans would be wasting their time and money going to Texas. Oregon's too fast and it won't even be a game, most ESPN reporters would say. However, once again, this was not the case for THE Ohio State University, as at least two-thirds of at and Stadium was singing Carmen, Ohio after the game. I've had the amazing opportunity to travel to both of these games because my older brother plays for the Buckeyes. It's been a dream, to say the least. I've been a Buckeye since I, walked into the fir first, since I first walked into the shoe a couple years ago for my first game against Michigan. The crowd, the cold wind, the noise, the best damn band in the land, it's all unbelievable. If you've never been to an Ohio State football game, you're missing out. School spirit is in their blood, and that blood is truly scarlet. But why is this school so special? Why does this school have such a large fan base that spreads from all over the country? You could go into any airport in America and yell out, OH, and surely, and surely some enough will scream back, I-O. What makes the Ohio State brand so unique in that everyone has pride in being a Buckeye? Sure, they're national champions now, so you've got those bandwagon fans hopping on for the ride. But even through the dark ages of Jim Tressler, when the SEC dominated the BCS, the Buckeye faithful were always that, faithful. Now, wouldn't it be great if that kind of pride and spirit could be applied to another entity, like perhaps your high school? Wouldn't it, wouldn't, why shouldn't high schoolers be just as spirited and crazy for their sports teams as big colleges and universities? Last March, I was elected as president of our student council. Once I got elected, friends and classmates told me we needed more spirit, we needed better attendance at the games, and we needed to paint our faces. So I figured, how hard could that be if everybody wants it? As with every, everything in life, we try to please everyone. I mean, can you imagine trying to please everyone in a high school? As I could say so myself, it, as being president of the student council, which means you're the school spirit commander in chief, generating school spirit is not an easy task. So I showed up to my first football game as a newly elected president. As I sat and cheered on the team with the crowd of parents, I noticed that there weren't as many students as I had expected. Understandably, in a school such as this, which draws students from all over South Florida, once a student goes home, it's not an easy trek back to campus, especially during rush hour traffic. The scene at that first football game wasn't like the one you see in the movies, where an entire town gathers for Friday night lights. That's what I had always envisioned as the quintessential high school experience, and that's what I had always wanted. But the reality is, students here are spread thin, and they're busy doing other things, whether dancing in the studio or rehearsing for a play, conducting research or playing another sport on the other side of campus, or studying for that rigorous exam. That football game, attending it just to be on the sidelines, isn't high on the list of priorities. Does that mean our school spirit is low? And others out there probably witnessed the same phenomenon at their schools. If so, we've got to examine why and perhaps explain and understand that, they, that this may not understandably be for a lack of school spirit. It seems counterintuitive and a paradox. While empty bleachers may seem like a lack of school spirit, sometimes it's actually a good sign. That student involvement is so high in so many other areas that there may now simply be time for students to get there and go to the football games. After all, in today's competitive world, student bodies across the country are more engaged than ever and they're engaged in ways previously unimaginable in previous generations. And a national study conducted on school, st on school spirit among several participating universities such as Penn State, Texas Tech, Wake Forest, and Virginia Tech, school spirit was measured by visible, visible and quantifiable signs such like the, like the numbers of um, students wearing branded school apparel or the number of cars in a student parking lot with school decals and alumni giving rate. In high schools, whether public, charter, or independent, I don't think the same instrument can be used. But to measure something, this feeling, this quality that we call school spirit may be drawing nectar in a sieve. At any rate, we did conduct a survey among our peers to see if they valued school spirit. 
The results were almost unanimous. Out of 109 responses, 99% said that school spirit is beneficial to our community. Students decided that the pep rally, homecoming game, and Sadie Hawkins dance are three of the most important school-sponsored events. Homecoming, it's one of the most fun and exciting weeks of the entire year. I was the host of this year's homecom homecoming pep rally, and there was not a single person in that gym without a smile on their face. We were cheering on our classmates and having the most amazing time. By the look of our gym, or your Instagram feed, you could tell that everyone was painted green and white from head to toe. The sense of school spirit was palpable. The question remains, just how big of an effect does school spirit have on, an in, ha, have on a group and on an individual? Why is it needed? How does it influence our identity? And how does it correlate with our athletic and student achievements? When we research these questions, we realize the profound correlation of how school pride impacts a person's life in and out of high school. The environment that you're in has way more power than you think it does. Behavior is controlled by your environment more than your willpower. Taking this into consideration, the people who you are with, who you're surrounded with, truly mold your emotions and how you act on a day-to-day -day basis. As students, we spend most of our time at school, which makes our peers and teachers extremely influential to us. School spirit provides students with a sense of identity. Especially in middle school and high school, teenagers struggle to find out what kind of person they want to be and how to fit into a group. Having school spirit pro provides a niche for any kind of student to be a part of. Through promotion of school spirit, students in a group can form together, which builds a sense of trust and friendship. School spirit is important because it generates a team of people who feel the need to work together in order to succeed. Through school spirit, athletic and student achievement are significantly approved, improved. You could help your school team win even if you're not on the field. Using psychology's social facilitation, people tend to perform better when others are watching and cheering. Based on this theory, going out and physically cheering for your team can help improve the results. Being at school with spirit also affects the student achievement and commitment to their education. Because a highly spirited school wants their team to succeed in everything, students are more likely to be committed and involved in the classroom. By creating a fun school, students will have a curiosity to go to school, be a part of a team, and do their job by getting good grades. Academically, students perform better with a school that contains spirit. In Memphis, Tennessee, research was conducted to study the correlation that school spirit has on academics. 75% of students with high spirit tend to have higher GPAs and have more plans to further their education than students who don't. 91% of students who are more spirited and more, are more confident in their abilities and believe that they can achieve success. Students with high school spirit are 90% happier 88% more active within their communities, and 74% more ambitious than students with low spirit. Because we wanted to find out how to even engage more students and foster more community, we conducted a survey of, to solicit our, for ideas from the student body. Most students suggest to have a longer week, week of homecoming events and more student council sponsored events. Nearly 50% of students suggest that we need more guest speakers to engage in dialogue such as this TED Talk event, and more time during school to watch musicals and drama performances so that we can support each other in order to, in our individual endeavors. A study was conducted by Robert Putnam, a Harvard researcher. His study showed that 28% of people who attended religious services weekly are extremely satisfied compared to the 19.6% people, of people who never attended services. This has nothing to do with the power of God, but rather everything to, to do with the way conforming to a society helps people be happier and allows us citizens to fit in. This same sense of group conformity can accurately be portrayed at our school sporting events and other school sponsored events. Though we value individualism, especially we of the millennial generation, we would argue that there's also a time and a place to belong to a group. And the two don't have to be mutually exclusive. It's good to fit in, it's good to belong, it's good to lose your voice, cheering in the crowd, and to paint your face to show some pride. Thank, Thank you. you.